this is my body. This is my blood of the covenant poured out for the forgiveness of sins. These words of our Lord Jesus Christ, remember each time a local church gathers and partakes of the Lord's Supper or communion together, it is heard with much confusion and sometimes heated battles over the centuries. Today I wanted to speak on it from my perspective as a Baptist, and specifically the bread of the presence that is uh, at the table in Exodus 25, which I preached on Sunday. In Exodus 25, verse 30, Yahweh commands, You shall set the bread of the presence on the table before me regularly or always. The word that's translated presence here uh, means in face of or before the face of. It's the same word um, used back in Genesis uh, chapter 32, verse 30, where Jacob names a place Peniel, uh, which is the place where he saw God face to face, he said. So presence here doesn't mean God is present inside the bread, but the bread was before his presence, before his face. This is how we all live. We all live coram Deo, or before the face of God always. In taking the bread and the wine of the presence, we take these things at the Lord's Supper before his face. Yahweh's presence uh, in Exodus uh, is represented in the sp empty space that is above the mercy seat of the Ark of the Covenant and between the cherubim. The empty space there is now occupied by the living God, not needing a graven image, and he even commands Israel not to make a graven image of him back in his Ten Commandments in Exodus chapter 20. Now, the table and the Ark had similarities. Both are made up of acacia wood, covered in hammered gold, same crown molding on top. Both were mobile and had poles with rings for carrying. The major difference is this. The table had remov removable poles as the Ark of the Covenant had permanent poles. The table is holy, but it can be touched. God is present in the Ark, and the poles are permanent because he is not to be touched. So the, he's not in the table. He's not in the bread. He's at the Ark of the Covenant. At the Lord's Supper, Christ wasn't speaking of the bread and wine as truly him in any more than the bread and wine before Yahweh or before Yahweh's face in the desert wilderness. The bread of the presence means bread before the presence of God. We eat these symbols of Christ's everlasting covenant from the Lord's table to remember him. Christ and him crucified, and to proclaim his death until he returns for us. Through this torn flesh represented in the bread, but not really Christ's flesh, and by this poured wine represented, but not really Christ's blood, we can enter in the real presence of the Lord. Christ's flesh is the flesh. Christ's blood is the blood. We take these elements of the Lord's Supper together before his face in remembrance of his real flesh torn and his real blood poured. We enjoy sweet communion with the Lord because of Christ and him crucified. We enjoy sweet communion with the saints because of Christ and him crucified. God is near us in Jesus Christ, and his nearness is represented in the Lord's Supper. We can say, this bread represents the body of Christ torn for you. Take and eat. This cup represents the blood of Christ poured out for the forgiveness of sins. Take and drink. And we enjoy this communion, this very sweet communion together, until he returns for us, and we enjoy the marriage supper of the Lamb in his glorious and eternal kingdom.